Hi everybody, I'm Marla with Nine Health, and uh, today I'm lucky to be joined by Tony Says, and he is a registered pharmacist here at Safeway. Thanks for having us here today. Well, thank you for having me. Yeah, so today uh, we are going to talk a little bit, this is our results week. So all week long we've been talking to people about what are the results you get when you go to Nine Health, and today specifically we're going to talk about vitamin D. We have already talked this week about thyroid, we talked about heart health, and we talked about diabetes. Um, so what are, you can see the measures in your results that you're going to get um, for all those things, in, in addition to kidney function, liver function, things that we would never maybe think of, but that really you get some results here. You know, uric acid. I would never think to measure that, but it's apparently very, very important. And since Tony is a registered pharmacist, he can tell us a lot about especially vitamin D, but all about these things that are important. We have um, creatinine, we have all sorts of, of liver and kidney function here, um, A1C, uh, we have B12 here, another vitamin that's important. So anyway, we talk, uh, that's all the things you can get in your nine health results and we've been talking about nine health results all week long because we want you to know about your health and that's really important. And so today we are here at the Safeway Pharmacy in the vitamin section because I love to supplement. Yeah. We talked about this a little off camera, we'll tell you about that. But um, so Tony, uh, you know, one of the, the, the measures you can get if you do an extra test at Nine Health, you can get the level of vitamin D in, from your blood. And so that is something yep. that um, what I learned is that most people are deficient in vitamin D. And so when you get your Nine Health results, they see that. Yes. Tell us kind of what is vitamin D and why is it important for your body? Yeah. So vitamin D is a fat soluble vitamin and your body needs share. it to absorb calcium. Uh, for strong uh, bones to make form and maintain strong bones and mostly uh, you get it from the sun sun exposure as well as diet so it's very important for your bones okay so it's, it's important for your bones and and some other things um, yeah. and you get it from the sun but so many of us are wearing sunscreen what are some foods do you know about foods maybe yeah. that have the vitamin d in it that you can eat absolutely so a lot i'm gonna share sorry i'm not interrupting, okay. but That's i'm gonna okay. share this on the on the nine health page right now yeah. But I, I forgot to mention, if you have questions about vitamin D and you want to know something from our registered pharmacist here, go ahead and type them into the feed and we will try and answer your questions as well. So I'm sorry I interrupted. Yeah, no problem. What are the foods? Tell us about yeah, the Yeah, so a lot of, a lot, the best foods for vitamin D are fortified dairy products such as the orange juice, milk, those uh, yogurt, those types of items, as well as seafood. A lot of seafood has um, a lot of vitamin D, like your salmons, your, uh, your sockeye, um, different um, tuna, even egg yolks have a pretty good amount of vitamin D for, for, for folks. Uh, so that's okay. Good. Yeah. okay, great. So a lot of the fortified uh, dairy products, products. Yep. dairy products, and even they're putting in orange juice these days. Yeah, orange juice as well, yeah. Um, but some of the foods are, are maybe fish and, and egg yolks. Yep. I yep. wouldn't have thought egg yolks. Yep, egg yolks have some okay. vitamin D, yeah. Okay, very good. So that's why it's important. It's important for your bones and yep. other things, and you can get it in the sun. But if you're wearing yep, totally. sunscreen, what happens if you um, feel like you are low? What happens if you are actually low in vitamin D? What happens to your body? Well, so some, some symptoms that you can have with low vitamin D are muscle pain, back pain, uh, muscle weakness, less endurance. Um, you can also have hair loss, a depressed mood, um, and sometimes you get sick more often than others as well. Oh, okay. I don't like the hair loss part. That, yeah. sounds, that sounds bad. Yeah. Could Someone be. said broccoli. Broccoli a good source? Yeah, broccoli. broccoli. Yeah. We did. Okay. I'm not seeing your comments. Okay. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Sure. We got, we're in the pharmacy, guys. So people need things. They're coming in here and they're going to do that. And that's that's awesome. So, okay. So, Ara, we, we do have some good questions here. Let's, let's get to them. Um, so, vitamin D3. We all take D3. If you don't do berry dairy broccoli is full of calcium which helps so d3 is there a difference in d3 and other d i mean she's uh yeah so there is a difference in the in the different vitamins that you see d2 d3 but um, what happens is your body breaks that down into what the body can use so yep exactly right so um so you'll see the international units on there um, and some of those are different right so d3 when you take it it's actually broken down into your body into the part that can be used so, okay yeah so okay, that's good. Part of the yep. okay. So um, you can get a vitamin D screening at a Nine Health Fair, and we just finished up our spring season. We're going to have fall fairs in, in September, but um, 
what if I just took my test and what would be a normal range of my vitamin yeah, D? Great question. So most experts would agree that a level between 20 nanograms per milliliter and 50 nanograms per milliliter is, is an adequate amount. Anything less than 20 is considered inadequate and anything less than 12 would actually be deficient. Okay. Okay. And then you can take a supplement. I, I know I've been taking a supplement and when I first got my nine health results back, I was low in vitamin D. And then I started taking a supplement, not unlike this, every day. Yeah. I don't know exactly how many uh, yeah. milligrams or, what did you say they're measuring? International units. I use, I right? I use, yep. I don't know how many I use I was taking, but I, I've been taking that, and now it's it with a normal range. So I was like okay. in the 50s. Good for you. Is that good? 50 is a little at the higher end, but okay. yes, but you're still within the range. Okay. Yeah. So I shouldn't keep supplementing as well. Should not keep supplementing. I've been yeah. known to over supplement. Yeah, you can over supplement definitely, especially with something like a vitamin D, which is a fat soluble vitamin. You can get too much of that. Okay, so be careful. Be careful, yes. Okay, so how much, what's the right dose? What should I be taking every day? Well, uh, that just depends on what your levels are. If you get your screening and then you can see from there and also discuss with your doctor as well too what might be a good level because it's okay. it's different for everybody. Everybody's unique, um, everybody's bodies are unique. So some level that is good for you may not be as good for me or for somebody else. So it's always good to consult with your doctor with okay. those levels. Okay, and could you uh, consult with somebody if they came into the pharmacy and help them understand what, yeah, which Yeah, absolutely. One Our pharmacists are, are trained in, in, in a lot of medications as well as vitamins. So they can come and ask any questions that they might have. Okay. Yep, we'd love to answer that for sure. Okay, so um, I've been taking vitamin D. If you need vitamin D, this is a good thing to do. Yep. If you okay. need vitamin D, a supplement is a great thing to take, yes. Yeah, and you wouldn't know you need a vitamin D. What if you... Until you do the screen. Okay. So yeah. would I have any symptoms if I was low? Well, well, again, like I said, you can have that muscle pain if, you, if you're experiencing any muscle weakness, or you're just, you're just not your, yourself. You're feeling fatigue, um, especially... Um, like I said, if you're getting sick more often than others, those are signs of maybe low vitamin D. Okay, so, so I might be tired, I yeah, might be getting be sick tired. more. Yeah. Okay, so um, what happens if you have high vitamin D? So, so what if I get my yeah. nine health results and I look at it and it says, man, I've been taking too much, like I've been known to do. I've yeah. taken, yeah. you know, I, I told you a little story she, earlier she did. where yeah. I was <laughs> taking a little too much uh, iron. Anyway. So yep. what if I'm high in vitamin D? What would I notice? So if you're if you're high in vitamin D, you could have excess calcium as well, and that that's Ooh. called hypercalcemia, and that can cause nausea and vomiting. That can cause frequent urination, and it can also cause calcium stones, which nobody wants to have calcium. That stone, does right? sound bad. Yeah, yeah that can happen what within your with kidneys. Oh, okay. So um, what you want to do is, if that were to happen, you would want to limit your vitamin D intake. You'd want to watch those fortified drinks that you might be taking, as well as any supplemental calcium. Uh, you, want to, would lo you want to limit that as much as you can, and then if it's excessively high, you would want to talk with your doctor who can help also maybe with some IV fluids or medications if it were really that high. What, what, what would be an alarming level, do you think? Um, well, again, that would be up to your doctor. I mean, anything really over 50 is kind of what the experts say okay, to be. Okay, over so, 50. Yeah. yeah, so I mean, if you've got some numbers that are, are well over that, you might want to cut back on those intake, on those uh, supplements um, and other uh, okay, so items that you're taking in. So if you guys have uh, questions, go ahead and send them in to us. Yeah. Someone asked about, we showed D3, but someone asked about vitamin D2. Their doctor has about 5,000 units of D2. Okay. And again, that's that's one of those where when you take it, it actually gets broken down into what the body can use. So they're, they're, they're just different um, structures of the, of the vitamin, actually, is what they are. So um, they're all going to get broken down to the same item within your body, and then that's what your body uses to help to convert to, to mineralize the bone to make it strong. Okay. Okay. We have another question here. It says uh, vitamin D increases with coffee and tea consumption. Is that right, or, or is that um, a, I a myth? Is that something that Marla would make up <laughs> and then well, drink more coffee every day it, so that I got more vitamin D? That yeah, sounds like something I don't. I'm not aware of that, but uh, I'm not to say that that can happen. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. I mean, uh, um, I haven't heard of caffeine. I'm mostly probably the caffeine within the tea and the coffee that would cause that. But I haven't. I haven't heard that personally. Okay. So. We can do a little bit yeah. more research, but yeah, that's that's absolutely. that's yeah. something that I would uh, uh, probably <laughs> latch on to yeah. and type, probably take more. So anyway, um, yeah. So people are saying yes that uh, you know being out in the sun you can risk yep. sun uh, skin cancer. You can. Yep. And so ba taking a supplement might be a better choice for some of us. Absolutely. Than, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now um, one of the things that I, I did read and, and that um, probably. 
um, is true, not like the made-up stuff, is that uh, people with darker pigmentation, like myself, actually absorb less vitamin D, and so would maybe need to supplement, consider that test. Yes, or that's supplement. absolutely true. Yeah. Uh, so darker-skinned folks have more melanin, and that would decrease the amount of energy that the sun can get through the skin. So yeah. yes, that's an, that's you're absolutely right on that. Okay, so yeah. people like me, if I or have darker skin, yep. you may want to consider uh, a supplement. Uh, getting that test first of all, right? Because you getting wouldn't the test maybe to understand know. Where you're at. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So we could get a screening at Nine Health Fair. Yeah. And or just supplement. Yeah. So. Yeah, and it's always wise to do that because a lot of times I've I've known some people who um, have had some issues like have really tired all the time or and they got that test and the vitamin D they begin to take that and over time they're like I'm feeling a little bit better so it does make a difference. Okay. And, and that's from just from uh, folks that I've counted on before. So, yeah, 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 yeah. So um, again, we're talking about results. We're doing a whole week of results talking about Nine Health Fair results. When you go to a Nine Health Fair, you can get all kinds of information. Just in the simple blood chemistry screening, you get 28 different levels. Um, that includes liver health, kidney health, um, all of your cholesterol numbers. But we're, today we're talking about a special screening that you can do at a Nine Health Fair called vitamin D. Yeah. And it's really important because as you said before, we're talking to Tony, a registered uh, pharmacist, and as you were saying before, I know you already said this, but we're also getting more questions, that um, but if you have low vitamin D, it can be bad for your health. It, it can cause some symptoms. And, and what are those? Yeah, so again, like I said, it could cause uh, back pain. It could cause brittle bones, um, decreased endurance. That's the big thing, um, right? The bones. Yeah, hair yeah. loss, yeah, yeah. fatigue. Just if you're not feeling yourself, some some people see, said they feel numbness and stuff. So um, vitamin D is very important for the entire body. It's almost like every cell needs vitamin D. Okay, okay. so really important. And then you also told us a little bit about what you can do um, just in your daily life to help increase or keep up your vitamin D levels. Like you were yeah. saying about the fortified dairy products and some foods that you can eat. Yeah, yeah. Again, that goes back to the seafood, a lot of the salmon. Uh, tilapia, tuna, those types of uh, fish have a lot of vitamin D, as well as some supplements like cod liver oil or the fish oil that we have here. Ah, that we have more supplements. Yeah. All right. Yeah, We're that can get help too. Somebody doesn't like to eat fish. There's I a mean, big one right here. Yeah, there's a big one there. So that has a lot um, as well. Cod liver oil, like I said. Okay. Um, and uh, like I said, the egg yolks of fortified dairy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. And then also, um, there's recommendations that you could go out into the sun. The sun provides some mm -hmm. vitamin D for you. Yes, it does. Yeah. Yep, sun exposure helps to convert that. Um, to, to vitamin D in your body yeah. to, to help yeah, with your bones. Yeah. So those are some things you can do every day yeah. and um, then yep. the other thing, right, is maybe some supplementation. Yeah, supplementation, absolutely. Yeah, like I said, the cod liver oil or vitamin D as supplements can, can help um, get those levels up. Okay. Yeah. okay, well you heard it here from yeah. our registered pharmacist. You guys are a wealth of information, have tons of, of information about not only vitamin D, but all of the medicines yeah. and things. And they're so yeah. accessible, you can come right into a Safeway yep. and talk to a pharmacist uh, at any time, which yep. is a great benefit. Yep. You can't always help. get into your uh, doctor's office. <laughs> right, right, right. We're, I we're know that. much more accessible than, than, than doctors or physicians, and we'd love to yeah. help folks, so yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Okay, last question, you ready? Yeah. So how do you know, and this is a test, if you are deficient? So it's less than 12 nanograms per milliliter. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And there's a screening for in that. A, in the screening, right? Yeah. You have to have a screening to know those numbers yeah. for sure. Yeah. But, but that's good. Like when you get the screening, how do you know if this is good or bad? So yeah. it's less than 12. And, and and again, folks, that's just, that's kind of a range. So your doctor would still consider yeah. maybe that's good enough for you. I mean, it's still deficient. You'd want to get those levels up for sure. But yeah. each person is individualized. Yeah. But at least you want to get that screening so you can see what that level is. Yeah. Okay, really great. Well, we are going to sign off for today. This has been a, a really special adult edition of Results Week for Nine Health Fair.